We are starting our final hour of the One in Three Speak Out. The One in Three campaign was founded to ensure that people's real experiences with abortion are at the center of this nation's conversations around abortion care. Each year, we are honored to host this event where people share their real experiences with abortion, shattering silence and honoring the long tradition of sharing abortion stories as an act of political resistance. This year, the Speak Out is dedicated to Jane Doe and all young people like her. Jane Doe is an undocumented immigrant minor being held in detention in Texas. Shortly after arriving in the United States, Jane learned she was pregnant and sought to have an abortion. She followed Texas burdensome laws, which required a waiting period, an ultrasound, and medically inaccurate counseling. As if that wasn't enough, as a minor without parental permi permission, she even had to convince a judge that she was mature enough to make the decision to have an abortion. Can you imagine being 16 or 17 and having to plead your case to a judge or be forced to carry a pregnancy to term? Jane did this and was ready to have her abortion. But then an official in the Trump administration named Scott Lloyd stepped in and refused to allow the abortion. He forced her to visit a crisis pregnancy center, a fake clinic masquerading as one that would help Jane understand all of her options, but instead used scare tactics and shame to try to convince Jane to carry her pregnancy to term. Scott Lloyd even brought religious officials to pray over Jane. On top of that, he called her parents without her even knowing, without knowing her home situation to inform them that she was seeking abortion care. Jane had to sue to get her abortion. She won, and despite weeks of delay, ultimately the government had to comply with the court ruling. Jane got the abortion care she needed, but not without a price. It soon became evident that Scott Lloyd and the Trump administration had blocked an unknown number of other Janes from seeking care. Some came forward, sought help from the American Civil Liberties Union, and successfully sued. But Lloyd and the Trump administration didn't change their misguided policy or their ideological extremism. They continued to abuse their power because they could to block vulnerable young people from seeking the care that they needed. These continued threats to abortion care and to our very health and safety are unconscionable. Each and every day, this administration and misguided lawmakers in Congress pose additional threats to the very health and lives of young people, women, those living in poverty, LGBTQIA folks, individuals who are immigrants and people identifying as Muslim. Advocates for Youth and the One in Three campaign are committed to this fight. We will not leave the most vulnerable people behind in our fight for social justice. And access to abortion care is indeed a fight for social justice. We will continue to share our personal stories, break our silence, shatter the stigma, advocate and organize until access is available for everyone who needs it. Safety and freedom means safety and freedom, not just for those with privilege, but for all of us. And that is what we are fighting for. If you're watching today and would like to support the work of the One in Three campaign, please visit oneinthreecampaign.org slash donate. And if you watch today, please join us in demanding that Scott Lloyd be fired and that this administration change its anti-abortion access policies by visiting oneinthreecampaign.org slash pink slip.